get in my speeder and realize I'm very wobbly and my vision's pretty fuzzy. I realize it's finally time to get this head wound checked out and some professional input on what's happened to me. And now's as good a time as any. I call a cab, and I'm on my way to the North Hill Clinic. Where are you headed? North Hill Clinic. Well, I better step on it. You look like you're in pretty bad shape. Your eyes are really bloodshot. Yeah, you should see him from this side. You live around here? Yeah, I do. I the Ritz. I've heard there's a lot of Morlocks in that area. Morlocks? That's what they call them. Some new, crazy type of mutant. Really? Yeah, I've heard rumors that they're uh, attacking people. On Chandler Avenue? Just rumors. But you never know. Things could get worse, sir. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, uh... I just wanted to let you know I was packing heat up here. Didn't mean to freak you out. Uh, that's fine. It's just the last time I got a ride from someone. They shot me, so I'm a little jumpy. It's a nice gun, by the way. I used to have one just like it. I've had this for a long time. Some idiot threw it out his window. The head wound is painful for sure. Maybe this Dr. Donahue can help me sort things out. Warned me you might be a problem patient. You know, you really shouldn't keep these things on the floor. Germs? I'm just gonna assume you've got some head trauma. Let's see what's going on. Over the past few months, I've been having these really vivid dreams. I mean, they're so real, I can't even tell I'm dreaming till I wake up. Uh, what's happening right now kind of feels like that. Hmm. Do you want to know if you're dreaming right now? Yeah. Ah! Yep, you're awake. So tell me what happened. Well, I woke up a few hours ago with this goose egg on my head and an injection mark on my arm. I've got no idea how I got them. As a matter of fact, I have no idea about anything over the past seven years. Hmm. Well, you took a pretty good shot to the head. Enough to knock you out, maybe cause some short-term memory loss, but for seven years. Let's see that mark on your arm. I think you'll need to draw some blood. Everything on your form accurate? Well, I think I said I exercise regularly and smoke sparingly. I, I might have got those two reversed. <laughs> well, I'm guessing your bloodstream's full of cholesterol and toxins, but I'm sure we'll find something else there, too. Have you ever had an implant? Just one, but it was a long time ago. It was, it was in my brain, so I'm sure there's nothing to worry about. Well, that injection mark concerns me, but I don't want to speculate. I would really like to keep you overnight for observation. You mind waiting around until we figure this out? Sure, if we can get it done in five minutes. While we're waiting, though, could I ask you a few questions? Let's just keep this professional, shall we? I don't think you could do much better. And yes, I mean that the way it sounded. I believe he runs a diner over on Telegraph Hill. I've dealt with many cases of amnesia, but nothing exactly like this. I 
After leaving North Hill, I get a cab ride back to my office. After a while, I'm feeling a little better, so I hop in my speeder and head out to the address of the mystery woman, who I hope can give me info on Mason Bowers. <laughs>